All right. So this is Ben there, Dan that. Get it? Thought you might. I have absolutely no idea what happens here. I haven't even tried to see if this works <clears throat> with fraps, so I could be losing here, but let's just click new game, see what happens. Is it an RPG? Is it a platformer? I just do not know. Anyway, this is another thing that's knocking around in my Steam list. Oh, we're in Peru. Ba 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 bum 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 bum. No? Oh yeah. Close though. Two weeks ago in Peru. <laughs> Up comes is this Ben, do you reckon? Well I had a lot I had to use a lot of objects with a lot of other objects. Shall I do his voice? Yeah, okay. But I finally managed to get that Wizzo Bang firework off the blind monkey. <laughs> so it's taking the piss out of games like Monkey Island, I guess. We'll have you across that canyon and alive again in no time, Dan, old buddy. Righto. This art design looks like something I'd do. Inventory and stuff. Oh, hello. So I can save, I can load, I can change the volume, I can run away from this awful game. That's the inventory. Rocket. Examine. The rocket. It's a Wizzo Bang TM Firework. Sweet. Exactly what I need. Right, well, I haven't got anything else. Okay, no problem. Oh, right. Ah, I see. So I've got lots of different options here. I can touch, talk to, throw the rocket at. Don't know what that means. Shall I try it? That's not going to do anything. He's dead. Ah. I don't know what this is. Right. Let's walk over here. Yeah. <laughs> it's a cigarette lighter with a four-leaf clover on it. I'm going to stop doing the voice. Well, that sounds lucky. Should we pick it up? Om nom nom. Should we set the light to him? As much as I'd love to set Dan on fire, I think he's probably been through enough recently. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, no problem. What's this thing? It's a totem pole. Alright. I know what to do. I know what to do. Nothing strange about that. Yeah, well, there is. It's fine. We just need to get... Where is it? It's in here. Pick this up. Attach it to him. <laughs> oh, man! Wasn't expecting that. Then we've got to get the lighter, haven't we? Clearly. Oh, I've got to find it up here. Okay, it's fine. We like the end. Alright, buddy, here we go. Once you hit Dark Oddball's shack, the corpse reanimation equipment will kick in and you'll be back to your good old living self in no time. So I guess I'm Ben and that guy's Dan. Go on him. In theory, at least. Yeah. Oh, you can click to skip the text. That's fine. I'll do that. <laughs> Oops. Sounds <laughs> like games. Ah, Dan Marshall and Ben Ward. There you go. Well, a bit of background, guys. I got this in an indie bundle at some point. I can't remember how much I paid for it or anything. Um, I'll put up how much this is worth at the moment on Steam for you. I'm not bothered about all this. No, no, I have to watch it. That's fine. It's pretty interesting music anyway. Don't tell me that's it, though. Okay. I didn't have to watch too much. Oh, no. No, we have to... <laughs> we have to see who it's written by. Oh, it's Dan and Ben. How about that? Bam. Is that... <laughs> is that a lot? That's a lot. Oh, my goodness, this game. Oh, we're in London. Look, there's the London Eye and there's Big Ben. It's really bad. <laughs> Can't believe I got this was London from that. So that was two weeks ago. I wonder if Dan's alive now. Present day, London. Oh! They live there. 
Yeah, they do. Look at them. Uh, it's great to be alive and back home again. Thanks for shoving that firework up my ass, Ben. Look, they spell ass properly. It must be an English game. Superb. Absolute pleasure, mate. So what are you going to do with this wonderful blessing we call life? Now, I shouldn't have been doing him in an American voice, should I? They're both British. Superb. Well, Magnum P.I. is on. Uh, I'm afraid the telly's not working. Mate. What? Yeah, I broke the aerial making a disguise to infiltrate Dr. Retro Agogo's secret disco robot lair and rescue your corpse. Sorry. Well, I'm certainly not going to do anything interesting or entertaining until we found an aerial and got the telly working. Yeah, he's going to have that voice. He's going to have that voice. The other guy's just going to have a normal Cockney voice. Sigh. Alright then. Oh, no. no. Right, so you want to get the telly working, do you? It's our television. The aerial is completely knackered. We're simply going to have to fashion a new one out of the bits and pieces of crap we've got lying around our flat. Ugh. Fashion a new TV. Joking, man. Ugh, alright. It's already switched on. The telly itself is working fine. It's the aerial that needs replacing. Urgently! You're right, I should stop describing the television's malfunction and instead concentrate my efforts on constructing a new makeshift aerial. Thanks for the advice, pal. Literally, actually, completely and utterly no problem. Yes, that's definitely the right voices. Should we walk over here? Come on then. Oh, wow, I get to control both of them. I like Sam and Max on the back there. Who's that? Don't know who that is. That looks like Mr. Incredible? I'm not really sure. Use the door. Does that say Luke? Oh no, WC, okay. What the hell is that? Do you want to look at that? Come on, Ben and Dan. The death of the adventure game. It was like that when we got here. I don't really understand. Let's go into the bathroom, shall we? Into the into the toilet. The water closet. Look at this. There's no way I'm flipping that switch. The wiring's all dicky. Only a complete idiot would touch that. Or should we get him to do it? Should we go to the toilet? There's no way I'm touching that thing. These days I'll just I'll perform all my ablutions out the bedroom window. Round here nobody even notices. Way, that's a crack at London, isn't it? Um, should we set light to something? Given the amount of gases that have been building up in the lab over the years, I can't help but feel that holding a naked flame to it might prove somewhat dangerous. Okay, no worries. What's, what's this? There's no way I'm allowing Dan to interact with himself. Oh, no. <laughs> I do really do. Wanking! Yes, thank you. That was the point I was alluding to. Or maybe we can get Dan to touch it. Does Dan Dan need to go potty? Mmm, too late. Sorry. Right. Well, he's a complete idiot. He'll touch that. There you go. I see. Oh, that's okay. We did it. Well done. So you can turn that on and off. Right. But I thought the wiring was all dicky. I really don't need him for that. Okay. Let's go back out of here. Clearly this isn't working. That door leads back out to the corridor. Frankly, I can't wait to get out of here. The stench is making my eyes melt. Should we go out the door then? Come on. Boosh. Alright, let's go and have a look in Ben's room. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not going into your room. No way, no. It's nasty in there. What's wrong with my room? The walls ooze brown muck and there's something squelchy living under your carpet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so? What's wrong with my room exactly? Oh, nothing. Come on, let's get this over with. We run a very real risk of missing Magnum P.I. at this rate. Good zooks. Always oh, turned Australian, mate. So, no, let's, um... Right, well, clearly we need the skateboard. Nah, I tried it once and fell off. Why, well, you're exactly like Marty McFly. Great. Mm, I'm not, not convinced about this game, guys. It looks like a sort of point and click. I'm not riding that thing. It's a death trap. Sport? What do I look like to you? A jock or something? 
Right, all right, okay. Let's walk over to this mouse hole and have a look, shall we? What's that lump in the bed? Hmm. Yeah, this game's a little interesting. Messy bled bed, clean dreams. Why is it all lumpy? No idea. Gosh, what an adventure men in the telly is turning out to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not convinced myself. I'm not convinced. Bowling, bowling, bowling. Bowling, bowling, bowling. Bowling, bowling, bowling. Rawhide! Uh, right. My book collection. I'm a well read individual. You have four books. Yes, novels, parts one, two, and three, and non fiction, the complete works. <laughs> Wait, that's every book ever written up there? Indeed it is, chum, read them and weep. Lovely. Okay. I'm surprised if any of you are still here. This video is going to get so many dislikes. If you didn't even like the basement collection, you're going to hate this video. <laughs> but like I said, watching watching Storpy Steam stuff is kind of a uh, a risky business. It really is. Oh, look at Ben's room. Or is this Dan? I can't remember. Let's open the cupboard. Open the wardrobe. What the hell happened to all my clothes? Hmm? Oh, I sold them on eBay so I could buy the Tremors films on DVD. Besides, I swear you only ever wear that one damn jacket. True enough. I haven't got time to mess around closing doors. Right, oh, sorry mate. I've got a makeshift aerial to construct. Well, pick that. That's a, clearly a makeshift aerial. Ah, you see? You see, you see, you see, you see. I t right, I know what I've got to do. Let's use that and that. That doesn't need heating up. Well, it does, doesn't it? Cause it need oh, right, well, let's examine it. It's a metal coat hanger. Lovely. Well, I thought if I heated it, maybe? I don't know. Let's have a look at the computer. How's the Gibbage sequel coming on? Uh, slowly, I've been focusing on uh, other projects. Jeez, not that a terrible adventure game. Well, if you pulled your weight a little more, it could be quite good. It will never be good. They walk funny for starters. I like that. It's kooky. It's rubbish is what it is. So they're alluding to the fact that this game is shit. Fair enough. My trusty old sturdy old bed. It's a fairly hefty looking copy of the Bible. You could do some serious damage with that. Someone's some serious damage. Yes, by reading it to them. <laughs> Yes, very good. I know it does. Come on. Obviously, that's how you got in here. This is a very silly game, guys. This is a very, very silly game. Right, back out into the lounge. <laughs> this is the stupidest adventure game I've ever played. I might even carry on playing this after I finish showing it to you all. Oh, baby, what a man. It's a Max and Sam poster covering the window. I told you it was Max and Sam. Haha. I enjoy its cheesy retro ambiance. Also, it means we don't have to look at all the vicious stabbings going on outside. Ha <laughs> ha, another dig at London. I love it. I don't collect art, and I also don't collect whatever that is. Right, come on then. Let's... Bloody hell, have we got a dog? Hmm. Right, let's stick the... The coat, coat hanger will certainly pick up the signal, but not from all the way back here. Well, yeah. Mary. Maybe we should stick it out the window. Where's, where's the window? Oh, there. I don't want to use any of my junk on this poster. Well, I'll take the poster down. There you go. We'll just take it down. We're going to miss Magnum at this rate. Okay. Get rid of that. You take the poster down. Oh my goodness, John almost jumped there. <laughs> I actually almost jumped. What do you want, mate? Yeah, you've gone. That was weird. <laughs> Did you see that? The chavs are getting weirder out there. No wonder we covered up the window. <laughs> uh, chavs are people in this country who wear hoodies and stuff, guys. Right. Let's stick that out the window. I'm not throwing anything at a closed window. Alright. It'd either smash the glass or bounce right off. So in summary, there's not much point. God, they are really sarcastic in this game, aren't they? Let's open it. 
There we go. Right, now will you put that out the window? I'm not throwing anything through an open window. I might need it later. Okay. So... Sorry, chum, I don't have pockets. Look at me, I barely even have legs. Ugh, you're right, that's horrible. Right, so I need somehow to dangle it out the window. How am I going to do such a thing? What have I got? Got a lighter. Got a poster. Oh, I know that. Well, I need to finish this one little mission. I really do. Is that made of string? No, you can't. <laughs> no problem. Let's go back into Ben's room. Maybe I missed some string. <gasps> no, I didn't. I know what I'm after. I'm going here. Um. No, that's fine. I had that before. It's getting pretty tight. I don't think I'll be able to yank it out. Maybe I'll be able to cut it with something. Um. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Right, so I need a cutting implement. Do you have a cutting implement? How are you? Fine, fine. Good. Good. <laughs> Awkward. Well, I'd better get back to the adventure. Cool. See you in a bit. Sure. Speaking a bit. Bye. Cheerio. Okay. That was really lame. Okay, so let's... My goodness. Guys, are you still watching? Because, my goodness. Right, there's got to be something in here we've got to use. Because I've used something from everywhere else. What's that? I've read them all before. Okay. No, I don't keep my money in there or anything. That'd be ridiculous. Let's go and see what this lump in the bed is, shall we? Ah, it's my arts and craft materials. Oh, no wonder I've been sleeping funny. Right, let's take the scissors. And the glue, I guess. Um, let's fuck off out of this room. Guys, I've nearly finished my first mission. <laughs> you still, you still there, everyone? No, you've all switched off and disliked this video, haven't you? I don't give a shit. I'm loving it. Cut that. Yeah, that's not unsafe. Grab it. An improbably long piece of metal wire. This is the sort of thing that makes a mighty fine aerial, wouldn't you say? Oh, absolutely. We'll be shitting in the dark from now on, of course. <laughs> But at least we'll be able to get a good reception. <laughs> exactly. Oh, this is actually quite funny, I've got to say. And what happens if we try? There's no way I'm flipping that switch. The wiring's all dicky. Only a complete idiot would touch that. Well, yeah, fair enough. Right. What are we doing? We're going to get that thread out the window. I'm not throwing anything out of an open window. I might need it later. Okay. Let's stick that on the TV then. Oh, that's right. Stick that all the way over there. And then we'll take this. Stick it on the end. I see. That looks like a pretty good aerial, but it's still not getting good enough reception. Oh, for fuck's sake. So what, what do I need to do now? Perhaps we should stick it out of the window or something. My goodness. Well, hurry up. I think Magnum's about to tell Higgins he wrecked the Ferrari again. Has anyone ever watched Magnum P.I.? I haven't. Um, right, pick that up. I want to take both of you, does it? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Magnum P.I., here we come. Give it to me. Higgy, baby. Oh, eff it. I think I've completed this mission. Oh no, perhaps not. 
There you go. <laughs> wow, that was weird. Indeed. What just happened? I'd say we've been abducted by aliens onto their spaceship hundreds of miles from Earth to be examined, tortured and chopped up. So we're going to Miss Magnum P.I. then. That's the bad news, yeah. Also, we need to find, to get, find a way to get off this godforsaken vessel before we get probed and such. Well, that's our f front door there. Good old number 113B. That'll get us home. Puzzle solved. Adventure over. Chalk another one up for the Danster. <laughs> uh, right. That's where I finish this, guys. I'm going to save it and quit. I um, hope you've enjoyed this. Um, <laughs> fuck. I'm saving it. It's doing something weird. Do I have to type? Oh, there you go, Steve. Save. Right, saved. Can I? There you go. Right, so it's there now. Okay, yeah. If you want to ever try this game, guys, I would suggest it. It's currently however much I put in the button on the screen here. Pounds, or euros, or dollars, or whatever. Um, and, yeah, it, it does look quite fun, actually, I've got to say. I mean, I'm putting, giving them stupid voices and that kind of thing, but it does look a bit of fun. If you like adventure games, I think this would be worth a try. Anyway, thanks for watching Storpy Steam Stuff once again, and I will catch you on the next Storpy Steam Stuff. Take care, all. Bye-zee-bye.